It's the turn of uh, Mr. Heens from the GUE, United European Left. Parliament questionnaire, you are quite bullish in wanting to go, you say, further and faster in promoting what you say is openness and integration of markets through free trade agreements and economic partnership agreements, so-called. Now, Commissioner, isn't the reality of many EU trade agreements that they allow EU-based multinational corporations to swamp the markets of poorer countries, destroy small producers, cause massive uh, social dislocation, and destroy potentially millions of jobs, as is the case, for example, in the proposed EU Mediterranean Agreement. So how can you pretend that pushing further and faster for more liberalization is anything more than representing nakedly the interests of European big business? Do you accept that there is a conflict of interest between what is good for the super profits of EU multinationals and the welfare of working people, and that there is also a conflict between them with regard to human rights? I guess it, it could be that we have a somewhat different approach uh, on that matter. Uh, but let me say two things. First, I do not believe that a country can develop without developing its economy, and it cannot develop its economy without developing its trade. When you have no trade, for example in agriculture, you have subsistence agriculture. It's only when you have trade that you have also commercial uh, agricultural production. So I believe that, yes, you have to free markets. On the other hand, and I say it also very clearly in my written statement, uh, the aim of um, our commercial policy is also to project our values with respect to human rights, with respect to the protection of environment, with respect to climate change, with respect to the rights of workers. And they are and they will be an integral part of my approach with respect to trade policy. Follow-up question. Trade, Commissioner. Uh, trade can be on the basis of human solidarity or it can be on the basis of a predatory relationship, which I say is the EU relationship. But can I press you further on the human rights issue? You said that only after a political discussion or debate would you consider signing agreement involve, a trade agreement involving Colombia. But isn't it clear that the people on the ground in Colombia, the non-governmental organizations, perhaps the Permanent People's Tribunal for one, have already clearly, with evidence, implicated the Colombian government and 43 multinational companies, including European-based multinationals, for their role in the violence, especially against trade unionists, 49 of whom were murdered in 2008 and over 30 last year. Aren't big business, including European business, business, the beneficiaries of repression against trade unionists? So what steps will you take to investigate this situation before you even consider signing agreement with Colombia? What I said uh, is that we are not going to initial an agreement before there is a thorough political discussion. When uh, a, a trade agreement is uh, negotiated, first you have the negotiation, then you have the initialing, and it's only afterwards that comes the signing. So I say that even before the initialing, there will be a political discussion, and I will personally look very thoroughly into the matter. Secondly, uh, in the negotiated text up, up to now, there is already a human rights provision. Um, where measures uh, can and will be taken if there is an infringement. But uh, it is an engagement on my behalf that you will have a political discussion on this, and I will also see how I do this with the, the counterpart before even the initialing of this agreement will take place. Thank you.